a platoon of British troops walks through a muddy road in the north of Kosovo to check if anything illegal is entering the country from Serbia following a deadly shootout two months ago, just some 30 kilometers away, around 80 heavily armed ethnic Serb gunmen entered late in September from Serbia into the village of Banjska with more than 20 cars, including armored vehicles, and started shooting at the police. When the gunmen ran to Serbia, they left behind an array of weapons and ammunition including machine guns, mortars, anti-tank rocket launchers, landmines, and drones. One officer and three gunmen were killed in what is seen as the worst violence since Kosovo declared independence from Serbia in 2008. These British soldiers are patrolling for an 18-hour shift to ensure that no weapons or armed individuals enter Kosovo and gather intelligence on any suspicious activity. They face temperatures dropping below zero, and heavy snow will cover the mountains, So we're currently at North Kosovo, um, in the centre, by Gate 1, which is one of the authorised crossing points. Um, we're currently here on a routine ABL patrol, um, which consists of understanding pattern of life, um, gaining intelligence on any um, illegal or suspicious activity that then gets fed back to K4 and higher, which then um, make, helps with their decision making. Um, the kind of whole aim is to ensure that that freedom of movement and safe and secure environment is maintained within Kosovo. Our reception here, we've been welcomed. Um, the presence is positive when we come in. Um, the locals wave at us. It seems like we're, our presence, as I said, is, is wanted here. Um, the, any issues we have come across get passed back higher and any issues that we do come across get passed back higher. Um, and then they hire make decisions on how we how we manage that on the ground. Thank you. 